Hello and welcome to our Java programming tutorial. Today we'll dive into the concept of multi-level inheritance in Java, using a practical example to demonstrate how it works. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Before we jump into the code, let's first understand what multi-level inheritance is. In Java, Multilevel inheritance is a type of inheritance where a class is derived from a class that is also derived from another class. This forms a chain of inheritance, and it helps in creating a hierarchical structure for classes. Let's visualize this with our example. Let's look at the code step by step. The university class is our base class. It has one attribute, university underscore name, which stores the name of the university. The constructor initializes this attribute, and the getUniversityName method returns the university name. Next, we have the college class, which extends the university class. This means college is a subclass of university. The college class adds a new attribute, college underscore name, and its constructor takes two parameters, a name for the university name and name for the college name. The super a name call invokes the constructor of the university class to initialize the university name. Finally, we have the student class, which extends the college class. This class adds two more attributes, a username for the student's name and PRN for the student's unique number. The constructor here takes four parameters, a name, name, prn, and name. Using super a name, name, it first initializes the university and college names by calling the constructor of the college class. The display method then prints out the details of the student, including their university, college, PRN, and name. Now, let's look at the multi-level demo class, which contains the main method. In the main method, we create two instances of the student class. 
The first student, S1, is associated with Pune University and Sindgad Institute, while the second student, S2, is associated with Shivaji University and Sharad Institute. We then call the display method on both instances to print out their details. As you can see, the program successfully displays the details of both students, including their university and college information, demonstrating how multilevel inheritance works in Java. To recap, in this video, we explored multilevel inheritance in Java through a practical example. We learned how a derived class can inherit properties and methods from a chain of parent classes, and we saw how to implement this concept in code. Multilevel inheritance is a powerful feature in object-oriented programming, allowing us to create more structured and modular code. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or need further clarification. See you in the next video. Subscribe to our channel to increase your knowledge with the knowledge base. Thank you.